So you've just bought the Sapphire Radeon Nitro 5700 XT OC card. But how do you get it in there? Don't worry guys, I'll show you how to do that in this video. And then I'll also show you how to install the drivers in Windows to get you guys started. All right, so before we can get the Sapphire Radeon Nitro 5700 XT OC card installed, we're going to need to remove the card that's in there already. If you don't already have a card in there, if you're just building the system brand new and you're gonna be installing a card for the first time, just skip ahead to the time listed below. But if you already do have a card, this should help you out. So first off, what we're going to do is disconnect the PCIe connections. You'll see that right over here. Okay, so typically they're gonna have a little tab that you, right over here, this guy. See how I'm pushing that down and that those teeth are opening up. Okay. And then we'll just do that over here. Just pull that and then pull the connection out. Okay. So we'll just drop that connection in there. Now we'll need that a little bit later on. And then now we'll go ahead and unscrew all of these over here. Now, typically people do this with the case laying on its side, but it's a lot easier for me to demonstrate to you guys with the case standing up. So again, it might be easier for you to do this with the case laying down. Okay, so then we can't just pull the card out. If we do, we're gonna end up ripping the PCIe slot out. You'll notice there's a little notch right over here, and let me zoom in for you. Okay, so this little notch right here, that's holding the card in place. There's a little anchor keeping that in and I'll show you that in one second. So if we were to just pull the card out, we'd rip the PCIe slot out. So just push this and the card comes out a little bit. So if I were to push the card back in, you'll see that little notch pop back up. Watch this. See how it just right back into place. So again, I'm gonna push it out. And now let me zoom out and now the card comes off really easily. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be this specific card. That should be the same for about any card. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out. One thing you'll notice is that card took up three PCIe slots or covers, okay? It took one physical PCIe slot, but it took the space of three right over here. So we'll notice on the Sapphire Radeon 5700 XT OC, it only uses two, even though it says it takes up almost three, but it only uses two here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cover back on real quick. Now, if you already had covers on there for these two right over there, you're just gonna have to remove them to get the card in, but that's a different story. Okay, so now all we're going to do is First off, we're going to match these two back here along with these two right here. At the base, there's a little hole where these two go into. Try your hardest not to touch these fingers as well. Okay, okay so you should be able to see that right there. You'll notice that little groove match up with this little notch right over there. And this was the anchor I was telling you about when this slides in, that slides right in place, putting a piece of plastic right here, keeping you from just pulling the card out whenever you wanted to. And now right here, we just push the card right there, and then we just push it in, and you'll notice that little mechanism lock again. All right. So it's that easy. You've just physically installed the Sapphire Radeon Nitro 5700 XT OC card. So now we're just gonna go ahead and screw this in. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and connect those same two PCIe connections right over here. The other card had a by six and a by eight. This one has two by eights. So I have two six plus twos, so that means I'm gonna be using this other plus two connection, joining it up to make it a by eight. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that right over here. 
Now, the difference between the NVIDIA and AMD cards is the little latch mechanism that I showed you earlier is on the bottom. On AMD cards, it's at the top. Okay, and it just locks into place. So now we'll go ahead and put in the other one. And that's it. So now we have both PCIe power connections plugged in. So at this point, now all we're gonna do is turn on the computer and install the drivers. So let me take you over to the computer real quick and get started on All that. Right, so you may be tempted to plug your HDMI display port or whatever cable back up here to where it used to be. But now that you have a video card, you're gonna plug it in right over here to the actual video card itself, okay? So now let's turn it on real quick. So I do have a complete part list of everything in the system in the description and the pinned comment down below so you could check it out. Now this is going to be the very first time I turn it on, no drivers, no nothing. This is actually a clean install of Windows. So I'm going to go ahead, turn it on real quick. So far, super nice and quiet. One sec while I log in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the AMD drivers. It's redetecting the card or detecting the card. AMD.com, come over here. Then I go to graphics, Radeon graphics cards. And Windows is installing, unfortunately, its own. So, in a second, I'll show you guys how to get rid of that. So, Radeon graphics cards. Then we go here to Radeon RX 5700 XT. Drivers and support. Then here, Windows 10, 64-bit edition. This is what I have, you may have different. So I'll just go ahead and download that. Fill out this information, good stuff. I've already done it, so I don't need to right now. All right, so now one very important thing is since Windows is doing all its thing in the back end, we're going to want to download DDU. So for that, we go to wagnardsoft.com okay so then we'll scroll down and then we'll go to display driver uninstaller ddu the latest version click here for download and support and then just download the latest version here official download here Okay, so now if I go over here to show folder, so then we'll go into the DDU 7-zip folder or compress folder, and we'll extract it to DDU, doesn't really matter. Okay, so after extracting it to that folder, we're just gonna go ahead, right click on the start button, hover over shut down or sign out. Now we're gonna hold down the left shift key and then click restart while holding the left shift key. That's gonna take us to the safe mode of Windows. Okay, then we click over here on troubleshooting. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that better. Okay, then we go to advanced options. Okay, then we click startup settings and then restart. So that's gonna boot us into safe mode. Okay, and then here, 
we can just hit number four for enable safe mode. So now we'll go to explore and we'll go to wherever we extracted that DDU and then run display driver uninstaller. Okay. So we're going to go here to select device type, select GPU, and then we're going to do it two ways. There was an Nvidia card in here before, although I didn't install drivers, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Nvidia here first, and then I'm going to click clean and do not restart. Okay. So that what that's doing, it's getting rid of all the Nvidia drivers and any of the folders may be left behind. This will take, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Okay, clean uninstall completed. Would you like to exit now? We'll click no. So then we'll come back over here to where it says NVIDIA and we'll select AMD. And now this time we'll do a clean and restart since we're done at that point cleaning all the drivers out. And actually one thing I'd, I'd like to recommend, we click options here make sure prevent download of drivers from Windows Update when Windows search for a driver or device. Make sure there's a check in there and then click close. And now at this point, since we have AMD selected, we'll do a clean and restart. That'll uninstall the drivers and then restart the computer when it's safe. Okay, so now we'll go to the download directory where we downloaded the latest Radeon drivers for your video card. Click install here. Okay, we can close out the Explorer window and then keep a check here if you'd like to and then accept and custom install. I always do a custom and then checking for new drivers right over here. Okay. So downloaded, click install. Okay. And then click install again. That'll let you change the location of the install, but we'll leave it at default for now. Okay, and then if we'd like to, we can install Radeon Relive. And then we'll go ahead and click Restart Now. All right, guys, and that's about it. So again, this is Iggy showing you guys how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro 5700 XT OC card and how to install the drivers. Coming up next, I'm gonna show you guys how to use tricks to change the lighting, to overclock, and to get just better performance out of the card, like if you really need it. So to interrupt this video, I get asked very often, do I have to connect both of the PCIe connections. They don't put them there for fun, guys. Connect them both. Sometimes it'll work only having one, that way you get basic video. And you might be able to play some games, but as the power requirements ramp up, your game starts heating up your card. That's gonna take more power. As you use extra features of your video card, that's gonna take more power. That's where the extra six pin or the extra eight pin comes into play. So for example, right now, if I turn on this system, I have both eight pin PCIe connections connected right now. Okay, this will take a few seconds. It'll get into Windows. Everything will be happy. So now what I'm gonna end up doing is once it's in Windows, I'm gonna shut it down, All right? I'm going to shut it down. So now what I'm going to do is as soon as it shuts down, I'm going to go ahead, pull out one of the plugs. All right. You can see here it is disconnected. 
right here. Okay, so now I'll zoom back out. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead, turn it back on. Remember, this guy is disconnected. Now we're getting a post beat and it's not working. I know. It's because it needs the other one, not that one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that one back in. Okay, then I took out the other one. I plugged in the one on the right, the one I disconnected. I plugged that one back in and then I disconnected the one on the left. So that's got to work, right? Doesn't work either. So again, if it has an eight and a six pin or two six pins or two eight pins, connect them both. It doesn't cost you anything extra, of course, unless you have to buy another power supply or cables, which I'll go ahead and link them down below so you can buy some additional adapter cables. But realize this particular video card requires a 600 watt power supply. They recommend a 650 watt power supply. And I'm gonna be doing some testing for gameplay and for benchmarks, and I'll show you all you know how much power it's sucking. The entire system is sucking, not just the video card. The video card is going to require about 241 watts on its own. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, see you guys.